Hello and welcome to my latest video on Jurassic World Alive. Before I get into today's video, it would really help this channel if you could subscribe and also click the notification bell. If you enjoy this video, then please click on the like button. In this video, I'm going to cover off the different strategies you can use to get as much DNA as possible for the 2.7 creatures and also the hybrids. So either individually or collectively, these strategies will give you the best opportunity to get as much DNA as you can to create and build the 2.7 creatures. Okay, so that's the introductions done. Let's get on with the video. I suspect like me, everyone is very excited about the 2.7 update being released tomorrow. So I thought I'd put a video together to put some guidance together on how we can get best get some DNA for the 2.7 creatures. So first off, I think it's sense. So we've got lots of options for sense. We've got the um, the five minute scent capsule. We've got the 20 minute large scent capsule. We've got giga sense and we've got rare and epic sense. So obviously it's a bit of a risk with the um, with the scent capsule, large scent capsule and the giga sense. We don't know the spawning details for these particular creatures yet. So it's going to be a bit of a risk and reward. Um, basis really we, we just kind of try the sense out and see if uh, you're in the right zone for any of the particular 2.7 creatures so we've got um, rare sense we've got epic sense so for the rare sense we're looking at the Compsognathus gen 2 for epic scent we're looking at bumpy Compsognathus and dodo so hopefully if we uh, use those scents hopefully we we'll get the creatures spawning for those scents. In addition, we've got uh, Bumpy is obviously an Ankylosauridae. Um, we've got a scent for that. Um, obviously, only a very small percentage chance of getting Bumpy. Uh, Ankylosaurus is a 1.51% chance of its spawning uh, for the scent. So, I would anticipate it being the same for Bumpy. So, not a great chance, but uh, maybe worth the, uh, the risk of doing that. In addition, Ludia in the shop today provided a nurture and care scent, a nicely, nice kind of legendary coloured uh, scent which will attract legendary creatures. And of course, Dodo Sevia is a 2.7 legendary creature made up of the Dodo and Inostrant Sevia. So it might be worth using that scent, although it is a purchase in the shop. In addition, Inostrant Sevia is obviously a common creature that's uh, very prevalent on the, on the map. I certainly have been collecting DNA for that for the last um, week or so um, as a result of it being um, reported in a data mine. So I've got about 14,000 DNA for Inostrancevia, so hopefully I can get some Dodo DNA and create Dodo Sevia anyway. And talking of hybrids, Compsocorlus, obviously made up of Compsognathus and Diplocorlus Gen 2. Uh, the latter has been the hybrid pursuit creature since last Thursday. So I've been busily darting that creature to get as much DNA as possible to get that hybrid. In addition, you might want to purchase from the shop incubators to get uh, a chance of getting DNA for these creatures. And for the sharp-eyed amongst you, you will have noticed that on Friday we have a dodo strike tower. So a great opportunity to get uh, plenty of dodo DNA so look out for that on Friday and uh, get your eye in and uh, get darting and then we move on to sanctuaries so obviously as soon as creatures are created if we put them into sanctuaries we can then FIP them uh, to to increase the amount of DNA we have for those creatures so by putting them into sanctuaries and hopefully hopefully high level sanctuaries you can then get uh, the dna for them so generally you're talking for an epic you're talking about 19 dna for an epic i think it's about 52 for a rare so uh, you know if you've got lots of uh, fips then uh, hold on to those and utilize them post 2.7 update and finally we have raids uh, so obviously the new apex creature refrenantum is going to appear on May the 28th in raids so obviously a great opportunity to get DNA for that apex creature and that's gonna be the only option for getting DNA for Refrenantum so 
and fingers crossed we get 30s rather than 15s for DNA drops from the raids. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it or find it informative. Please do provide feedback in the description below. Uh, I always respond to, to comments, so please feel free to, to add your comments, feedback or suggestions. Okay, until next time, this is Alien Newt.